hosting us in the All Access Post Game Show. And yeah, the Ethan got it's down and changed. Look at this Ethan. guy. Look yeah, at this he guy. Must, I don't know. Ethan, you have a date the, or something? You know what it is? This is what happens when you get named uh, Matt Conwell Offensive Player of the Week. Oh, you got to make sure you look oh, good yeah, on the it, camera, right? right? That's the way right, it goes. Right. Yeah. It's an image. Uh, Ethan, it's good to see you, man. Three goals, two assists tonight. You have been in some sort of zone recently. Um, just piling. Pol- this is now 10 and 10 yeah. over the last three games. What, what have you been eating? What have you been doing? <laughs> How'd you get into this zone right now? Um, I mean, our Quinn, our offensive coordinator, is just putting us all in a great position. Um, midway through the season, we kind of changed up our offense a little bit, and I think it's really clicked. Um, everybody's really bought into it. Um, I mean, everybody's just moving off ball, and it's it's making it easy, whether it's just a simple assist because somebody's cutting or just we have people rotating and clearing through and making it easy to just go top side and score a goal. But everybody's really clicking on all cylinders, playing well, playing really as a team more this uh, in this part of the season. So as it's senior night, what does this group of seniors mean to you? I mean, they've been truly inspirational from Dom to Dylan to everybody who's been here. I mean, they're just they've had great leadership all four, all of the all three years I've been here. And they've just been really good on the field and off the field. They they really like to preach team chemistry and the chemistry. The three years I've been here has been unbelievable. What does it do for the entire team to have guys like Tyler and Shane get out there tonight and be able to show the thing, remind everybody, hey, we're really good players, too. Chris Varnado at the faceoff. Some guys that maybe we haven't seen quite as much of this year, but obviously, you know, they work hard all the time and they went out there and they proved it again. Yeah, I mean, when it's when you get the opportunity, everybody on the team is just going to step up and really sell out. Uh, I feel like that's really a huge difference between this year and last year. Everybody, when, when their name's called, they're just ready to go. They're ready to just hustle their hardest and just give everything they can when they get the opportunity. And I mean, it just shows the leadership with the senior class because even though many of we have a lot of freshmen and underclassmen playing, when they get their opportunity, even though they're on the sideline cheering us on when they're in the game, we're cheering them on and they're going their hardest as well. So it's really cool to see it. All right. Friday is going to mark the first time you guys have played a top 10 team in some time. What's going to be different now? And how is your team different now than you were at the beginning of the season when you guys came up a little bit short in some of those games? And how will it be different on Friday night? Um, like what I touched on earlier, I think the offense is just clicking really well. Everybody's playing as a team. Our defense is playing as a more solid unit. Mark is holding his own between the two pipes and has been playing unbelievable lately. But um, yeah, touching on the offense, I think just the change in offense we've had, we, we changed up some of the formations and just everybody's buying in and just it's a, it's a real team effort. It's not just individual play. It's uh, everybody going hard together. And if one person cuts through and goes hard and makes space for someone else, I mean, we're keeping track of hockey assist out here too, just showing how like everybody can be incorporated into the team and truly cool. show how the team as a unit is really going to win these games for us and not just individual players. Wait, so who's leading in hockey assist then? Who's got the, who's got the <laughs> um, second passes? I, I, I'm not sure who's leading in the hockey assist, but a goal of ours tonight was to get three hockey assists, okay. and we got that in the first quarter. There you go. So yeah, that's that was nice. That was big for us. I think that's really cool. All yeah. right, so you better make sure you shout out all of your grandparents because yeah. you yeah, know they're you all better. watching tonight. You better give them all individually. Let's go. Shout out uh, my grandpa Chris in uh, upstate New York, my grandma in, in the hills in Bedminster. Uh, I know both my parents are watching. Oh, yeah. yep. I know my girlfriend's watching. My brother might even be watching up in uh, Quinnipiac. So shout out to all of them. Oh, dude, we always it's we're flooded with Christiansons at all times, right? <laughs> we like that. We like that. Yeah. We like that. Yes. Ethan, congrats for the whole stretch right now. Congratulations yes. Yes. on how well you guys are playing in a nice win and best of luck on Friday night, all right? Thank you. I appreciate it. He is Ethan Christensen, the reigning Matt Commonwealth Offensive Player of the Week.